We rented a 25-foot motorhome from Cruise America. The day we, the day before we were supposed to pick it up, they called me to tell me they were having issues with that unit, so they were upgrading us to a 30-foot motorhome. It was manufactured by Thor Industries and was built in October of 2017 and had 82,000 miles on it. It was powered by a Ford V10 engine. The larger unit was certainly very large and spacious. The layout was such that we slept together in the queen bed at the back of the unit. With the 25 unit, the bed was in a back corner and had walls on three sides of it. Since we both get up in the middle of the night for bathroom breaks, I figured I would have had to sleep above the cab. The larger unit was a lot to drive in cities, so I did not do as much poking around as I like to, but I might have done a little more with the 25 footer. But all in all, the larger unit was sure more comfortable. We had plenty of room to sit and eat and play cards, etc. The door had a dog in the window that we named Scout. When we left, we told him to watch the motorhome, and he did. He would also tell him to stay, and he did. He was pretty well trained. We also had a lot of people make comments about Scott. Our first stop was going to be at the Kelso Depot in the Mojave National Preserve. It is now the visitor center for the preserve, but alas, it is, it is closed due to the pandemic. The Kelso Depot was built to provide services to passengers and railroad employees and as a water stop for steam locomotives. It is an example of a surviving 1920s era Mission Revival architecture styled Railroad Depot with a hotel, restaurant, and gardens. It was built by Union Pacific in order to compete with Santa Fe Harvey Houses. Our first time here was in 2002 and at that time they were working on restoring it. On the other side of the road was the town of Kelso. When we were there in 2002 there were a lot of old buildings in disrepair that I photographed. They are all gone now and cleaned up by the Park Service. We just parked in a shaded area and ate lunch. In the coming days, this would be a common theme for us. Start the generator and run the AC and relax and eat lunch. The National Park Service did a wonderful job restoring this old railroad depot. On the main floor they have a lot of displays and there's an area that used to be a lunch counter that they have set up like that now and one time Karen and I sat there and ate our own lunches. And the upstairs they have rooms that used to be hotel rooms with displays and downstairs they have more displays.
Leaving Kelso and going on to Lake Mead, we took Kelso Sema Road to Sema, and from there we took Morning Star Mine Road. I like to take this route because we go through one of the largest stands of Joshua trees I've ever seen. From there we went through the town of Nipton, which is now for sale. The very first time we stopped at Nipton was in 2005. We were on our way to Laughlin, Nevada. We ate at the Whistle Stop Cafe and had Chef Bill's Pasta Fazuli, which was to die for. We also had the best hamburger I have ever eaten, served wrapped in a tortilla. For a number of years, people who came in to the Barstow Route 66 Museum, well, if they were going to be headed this way, I'd send them here to see Chef Bill and eat. Entering the Lake Mead National Recreation Area, our GPS was telling me to turn left on Lackashore Road. That was the way that pronounced Lakeshore Road. When you check in at the campground, they have a person driving a golf cart that you follow down to your campsite. They also direct you into the spot. That was fine with me since this was the first time, uh, one of the first times I'd ever parked this behemoth. We had a beautiful Lakeview campsite. This would be our first night spent in the RV. The sites were very spacious and had a large cement pads to park on. Scout watched over our RV and our campsite. Good doggy scout. I packed my little charcoal grill and grilled burgers outside for dinner. After sunset we were treated to an incredibly beautiful full moon rise as we sat there in awe. We ended up doing this the next two nights at two different campgrounds. Of course, our travel mascots, the Umberto brothers and Flo, were along with us. We have a four cup coffee maker that we've had for the last 20 years that we brought with us too. In the morning, I have my coffee while Karen sleeps in. Then I got out my Coleman stove and made bacon and eggs. We also brought our toaster to make bagels. We had a wonderful sunrise breakfast looking out over the lake. What a great way to spend getting away from COVID.